Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's your glutton Matt having some sushi today. It's been quite some time since I've had sushi last, so I'm really excited for this. I went out and I got a bunch of specialty rolls from this one restaurant. So what I have here is a rainbow roll, a black dragon roll, and I'm not sure between the two of these which are the spider roll and the caterpillar roll because they've both got avocado on top of them. So I'm not going to find out until I really start eating them. But let's start with this first one here and see what it is. And see if I can grab these without destroying them and show them to you guys. Actually, I had to do myself up a cheat sheet because they're so outrageous. I didn't remember what was inside of all of them. So I think that's the spider roll. Deep fried soft shell crab, lettuce, cucumber, and fish roll topped with uh, avocado. I'm pretty sure that's what this one is. There we go. Mm. That's definitely that one. Let's try in some soy sauce. Oh, don't drop it. Oh no, my avocado came off the top of this one. The sushi's so over the top, it's like at what point do you have to pass before it can stop becoming sushi? Sushi in the West just keeps getting further and further away from like the original concept. Mm. Mm, that was really good. I like that a lot. Let's pour myself some tea because I'm starting to get thirsty. So two of these, the black dragon roll and the caterpillar roll both have eel in them because eel is my favorite type of sushi. So let's go with the caterpillar roll now. So this guy has barbecue eel, avocado, cucumber wrapped in barbecue, barbecue eel, avocado, cucumber wrapped in avocado. So double the avocado, I guess. Oh no. There we go. Mm.
Eel is so expensive in Japan, like as part of a meal, like say a rice bowl. Whenever I get it there, I usually only get it maybe like I splurge and go out for it once per trip. But so whenever I'm back home and like I can find eel at an all you can eat sushi place, like I take full advantage and I just get all eel the entire meal. That's how much I love eel though, because like eel is super good, but super expensive. So let's move on to the rainbow roll. So what's in the rainbow roll? It's a California roll wrapped in assorted raw fish and avocado. So here we go. So the assorted raw fish, it looks like there's salmon, tuna, and some shrimp there. Let's get this piece right here if I can. Ooh, there we go. I know not everyone's down for sushi. But for those of you who do like it, what's your favorite type of sushi? Ooh. Mm. Uh oh, I'm losing it. Almost dropped it right into my soy sauce there. Looks like it has crab meat inside of it too. I actually don't go for sushi that often in all my trips I've been to Japan, which is kind of ironic. You think you'd want to try it from like a thin, authentic experience right from the country, but I guess my reasoning is like I can eat sushi so much when I'm back home. Like there's so many restaurants in my city, like even for a medium to small size city, there's gotta be like at least 20, 20 sushi restaurants in my city. So it's like when I'm in Japan, I want to eat something I don't normally have access to, I guess. So that's why I don't eat a lot of sushi while I'm there. All right, so this is the black dragon roll. Mm. That one is real good. So what was in them? California roll wrapped in cooked shrimp, eel, and avocado. There you go. Mm. These are so filling too. Like I don't know how they come off on camera, but they're like they're they're big. They're thick. Like they have a lot of toppings compared to traditional sushi. Definitely cannot eat as many of the pieces of these as I can normal sushi. I've been forgetting to have my ginger in between each piece, each coin. I'm already pretty much done.
I guess. Oh, that was so good. I haven't had sushi in a long time. But, ooh. And definitely if I get sushi next time, I might just go with like normal kind so I can get like a bigger spread and have a different, like a larger variety. Cause like those were expensive too. I think they were like 12 or 13 to $15 per kind, per like roll. So that was about, so what was there? There was like four there. I got a discount. Oh, excuse me. I got a discount on them though. But yeah, normally they that would have been like what, $45, $60, I guess. But it was really good. I know a bunch of the boys from work want me to go out for sushi with them to an all you can eat place, but just because of conflicting schedules, I've never been haven't been able to get out with them for a long time. They've wanted me to go out and do a video with them like that. But as the end of the year creeps up really fast, I want to get a video out pretty soon. So like I said, I haven't done sushi in a long time, so I ended up resorting to that instead. And then unfortunately, it seems we were going into lockdown come on the 26th, and it's going to last up until at least January 23rd, so I'm not even going to be able to go out with them soon into the new year. Because I also wanted to do a bunch of other eaten restaurant kind of videos for you guys. Like I want to do like Costco food court kind of thing, and Swiss Chalet, which is like a Canadian rotisserie chicken kind of place. I had all kinds of plans, but yeah, it looks like they're going to have to wait now, unfortunately, until at least February, which is kind of sad. But I guess it is what it is. Oh, well, it's for the best, I guess. Christmas is coming too soon, so I hope you guys are all safe and going to have a happy Christmas as best as we can in the kind of circumstances we are. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You know, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys next time in the next video. Until then, peace out.